Pause it right there. This is not how it happened. A lot of stuff has just happened in Dragon Ball Super, and one of the most interesting things that I really want to talk about today is what happened to Margin Buu in the future Trunks timeline. Now at the start of the video you saw a clip playing with Margin Buu and Trunks and that was basically from Dragon Ball Heroes and that depicted a version of Trunks that turned Super Saiyan 3 in order to kill him and I could never really believe that. I never really could believe that Trunks could turn Super Saiyan 3 just out of nowhere and defeat Margin Buu. I mean, it would make sense that if he was a Super Saiyan 3 he would be able to defeat Margin Buu but I just couldn't see how he could achieve that kind of power. Now Dragon Ball Heroes has always been known for pretty much just being fan service. And for the longest time, this little bit of Dragon Ball Heroes footage is the only thing we had to go off of how Future Trunks' timeline actually played out because Dragon Ball Super didn't exist two years ago, three years ago, and even over the past year when it did exist, it took a whole nother year to get to the stage where we finally know what's happening with Trunks and his future timeline. I'm gonna lay it out, it makes so much sense and I'm actually really happy we got this. This is probably the best part of the latest episode. So this whole scenario starts off with Vegeta asking Trunks, was this whole scenario kickstarted by Margin Buu? Trunks replies with a simple no, and he then goes on to say that Margin Buu was going to be awoken and restored back to life. As you can see here, he's trying to stop Deborah, and behind him we have Bubbity. So very similar to the main timeline, Trunks had to fight Deborah, but unlike Goku or Vegeta or even Gohan, he was no match for Deborah. You see him charging at Deborah right here. He is literally dodging all of his attacks. And this is where Deborah gets the advantage. He spits on Trunks' sword, it turns to stone, and that's pretty much Trunks out of the battle. This also really reminds me of the Dragon Ball Z game. I don't know if any of you have played it, but it's on the PSP. Dragon Ball Z, Shin Budokai, and other road. That was actually my first Dragon Ball Z game. But right here, what gets Trunks back in the game is he receives instructions from the Kaioshin, in other words, the Supreme Kai. He goes back to fight Deborah. Deborah is spitting at him again, but this time, Trunks is actually blocking his spit with key, little bursts of key that's coming out of his hands. We see here that he gets the upper hand on Deborah and finishes off Deborah and Bubbity without hesitation. And the reason I love that so much is because that is in Trunks' character. He came and did the exact same thing with Freezer back in the past. So that is basically how Trunks beats Deborah. Deborah can't spit on him, so Trunks blocks it with his hands or his key hand. And I assume that he manages to turn Super Saiyan 2, even though there wasn't any lightning and it wasn't stated. Later on in the exact same episode, he does turn Super Saiyan 2. So I can only guess that the way he defeated Deborah was by turning Super Saiyan 2. It just didn't show the lightning for some reason. And again, Majin Buu didn't even have time to get resurrected. Trunks defeated Deborah and Bubbity so quickly that Majin Buu wasn't even able to be revived. Anyway, there is a lot more Dragon Ball content out there thanks to this last episode, so I will be making more videos. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this out there yesterday because there were no subtitles out, and I can't speak Japanese, even though I do watch the episodes live. That's just because I like to see what's going on, not because I can actually understand what they're saying. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. More videos coming soon, and until we meet again, I will see you in the next Dragon Ball video. Yeah.